Well, you know, Mike and Cherie, what a night for Yvette Simpson. Uh, she uh, came out and she said that she was cautiously optimistic. She's been using that word all night. Early on, the, the uh, numbers were slowly coming in, always having her in the lead from the very beginning. But again, she was cautiously optimistic. And then all of a sudden, they heard that Mayor Cranley had conceded, and this place erupted. We talked to her right after she came off the stage and talking to her supporters. Just listen to what she had to say. We work hard. <laughs> we work really hard. Um, keeping the council office running. Um, when you don't have the money, you're out there every day. And it's, you know, for me, that's the part I love anyway. Um, we have an amazing team of people. You see all these people that reflect our community, the diversity of our community, who went and told everybody they knew, who told everybody they knew. I don't know if you follow social media today, but I said, man, if social media is an indicator, we're doing pretty well. Um, and what I hope people understand is that this race really isn't about me. It's about all of them. Um, but we did work really hard, um, and that's what we're going to continue to do. She uses this phrase, the power of we. And talking about working hard, I, I said to her, you know, some people might think this is a surprise ending, but you worked really hard, and that's what she was responding to. But she said, you know, the next phase begins tomorrow. And one of the calls that she got tonight was from Marion Spencer, and that really excited her and her supporters here. Reporting live in Walnut Hills, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. All right, Curtis, thank you. Disappointing night, meanwhile, for incumbent mayor John Cranley and his supporters. He does move on to November, and that was the goal, but definitely his eyes are wide open now after what happened tonight. WLWT News 5's John London live with Cranley's reaction for us. John? Yeah, and you know, Mike, I think that's fair to say what, how you just put it. And, and John Cranley certainly had a different kind of night in mind tonight. But just like a one-game playoff, he survives to the runoff in November. And at the Incline Public House here in Price Hill, where we are now, an hour ago, the incumbent mayor put on a good face about his second-place showing. Here is what he told his crowd of supporters. We also want to congratulate Yvette Simpson on her primary victory tonight. Uh, she had a great showing, and we look forward to the debate in November. Uh, we are very, Dina and I are very comfortable and excited about the November campaign, that we'll have a, a campaign on the issues, and we believe, in fact, we know that in November we will be victorious. Yes! Of course, turnout in the primary was low. He believes that was a factor. And primaries, of course, are different uh, a lot of times than general elections. But it's clear that if John Cranley is going to have a second term, he will need to show strength in the November runoff in areas where Simpson shined tonight. He says he has a 52 neighborhood strategy. After the results tonight, I think it's fair to say the race is on. Live in Price Hill, John London, WWT News 5. John, thank you. Well, three is a crowd in this primary process, and the only candidate not advancing now tonight is newcomer Rob Richardson. WLWT News Science Amanda Kelly is live outside of his watch party tonight, which wrapped up early, unfortunately, for him. Amanda? Well, Shuri and Mike, Rob Richardson Jr. says he thank he is so thankful for all of his supporters who came out here tonight and says he has learned a lot from running for mayor this time around. Richardson gave congratulations to his two opponents, Mayor John Cranley and Council Member Yvette Simpson. Now being eliminated from this race, Richardson says he hasn't given any thought to throwing his support behind either of the remaining candidates just yet. When we asked the mayoral candidate what comes next for him after losing this primary election, he says this experience has been humbling and now he's going to take some time to reevaluate what comes next. What's next for me is to, is to focus and be a father, um, live a normal life. This has been a humbling and a challenging process, and I've learned a lot from it. It's been great to engage people, learn from people, learn about their hopes and dreams and desires. And uh, I'm going to sit back and really um, reevaluate some things and, and see what's next. 
Now, when I asked Richardson if he would have any future interest in running for a council seat, he responded very quickly that he had no interest whatsoever. Reporting live downtown tonight, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5. All right.